I am happy to introduce our speaker for this session, Professor Leif Erikson D. Gamalo. Um, Leif is a faculty member of the, the Department of Biological Sciences and Environmental Studies of the University of the Philippines, Mindanao. And he is also a faculty staff of the Philippine Genome Center, Mindanao Campus. He has been involved in the different uh, researches, which includes wildlife biology, zoonotic pathogens, and human-wildlife interaction studies. Currently, he is the program leader of the NRCP-funded Humane Program, which focuses on long-tailed macaques, e ecology, parasite bi biology, and the animal's interaction with humans. Everybody, let us all welcome Professor Leif Erikson Gamalo. Leaf. Okay, so thank you very much, Sir Cruz. Um, mag start na. I'm. Oh. I mean, yes, I didn't yes. sharing screen. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So again, good uh, morning, everyone. So I am the Fex Wendy Gamalo, a faculty from the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, and the associate member of the National Research Council of the Philippines. So I am also the current. Um, program leader of the program Humane, uh, which focuses on long-tailed macaques interaction with humans. So today I will be um, talking about long-tailed macaque research and conservation and update from the Philippine population. So basically this is a talk about this amazing animal, uh, but uh, misunderstood primate species in the Philippines. Okay, so um, let's start. So long-tailed macaques are native and widespread in the Philippines. So um, kahit saan sa, sa Philippines ay makakita tayo ng long-tailed um, macaques. And this is the only um, ungoy na nasa atin. So the species is believed to disperse from the island of Borneo um, to the archipelago using two different um, routes. So via Palawan, um, from Palawan to um, other parts of the Philippines, and that the most recent um, colonization path ay yung via Tawitawe or Sulu Archipelago to Sambuanga. So long-tailed macaques are important um, seed dispersers. Now, ibig sabihin, they are um, important in um, forest regeneration. Uh, however, um, the population of long-tailed macaques in the Philippines is relatively unknown. So there are only few studies no, na ginawa um, to, um, to monitor the population of long-tailed macaques. So first, um, ay yung ginawa sa Palawan um, by Ms. Geneva Chavez and Ma'am Judeline Di Malibot and the team of Dr. Um, Daphne Kerhuas um, who conducted um, a population research on long-tailed macaques in Negros and Paday Island. Okay, so in terms of the taxonomy of long-tailed macaques in the Philippines, we have two subspecies. No, so as reported by Food in 1991. So this includes the Macaca fascicularis philippensis. Um, ito yung widespread sa buong um, Philippines. And the uh, second one is the Macaca fascicularis fascicularis, which is present in the southern Mindanao, in in Tawitawe, in Sulu, and in Sambuanga. So morphologically speaking, um, they are different, no? So sa kanilang color. So yung Macaca fascicularis um, philippensis ay yung darker ang kulay, while yung Macaca fascicularis fascicularis, yun yung mas lighter. So um, halos magparehas lang itsura na, nito sa Macaca fascicularis na makikita sa Borneo. Okay, so however, um, recent molecular data suggest na there aren't no sufficient genetic differentiation um, between population in in Sambuanga and population in in Luzon, and um, because of that, um, some authors now consider um, Macaca fascicularis philippensis as a junior synonym of the Macaca fascicularis um, fascicularis. Okay, so maliban sa updates about long-tailed macaques taxonomy, um, let's now um, discuss um, the, the updates and trends of research conducted for Philippine long-tailed macaques in, in the Philippines. Okay, so um, there are three um, primate species or non-human primate species in, in the country. Now we have um, long-tailed macaques, we have the slow lorries, and we have the tarsier. And 
among these three, uh, Macaca fascicularis is the most studied um, non-human primate in the country with the highest research allocation effort. So, kung makikita nyo dito, more than 50 more than 50 percent sa mga primate research na ginawa sa atin or ginawa sa population na um, primate population sa Philippines ay for the long-tailed macaques. However, uh, most of these studies were conducted or focused on the captive individuals only, while the studies in their natural habitats are um, heavily lacking. So as you can see here in this graph, um, more than 50% sa ginawa na study for long-tailed macaques um, were on uh, focus sa captive um, individuals. And this followed by the studies um, na nag utilize lang ng existing samples or data. So um, maybe you will ask ano itong existing sample. Ito yung mga um, samples na kinulek na nung una such as blood tapos ginamit ulit for another research. So 34% ay malaki na. No? And as you can see here, for wild um, population, only 3.64% lang ang gumagawa. I mean, ang nagawa na for long-tail macaques in, in the wild. And this is also the same for those research na nag-conduct for both wild and captive individuals. Okay, so knowing that, um, paano naman sa type ng research? So um, long-tail macaques are known as model for biomedical research. So as you can see here, kadalasan na naginawa sa research for long-tailed macaques ay nakafocus sa diseases. So it's understandable, no? Because they are known for, uh, as model for, for medical research. And this is followed by research conducted on its genetics and for its evolution taxonomy and systematics. Okay, because these two, are also important um, when when you are targeting a species to be a model in a bio in a biomedical research. So, in terms of its anatomy, physiology, and um, behavior, and conservation and primate human interaction, masadong kulang pa for for long-tailed macaques. And as you can see here, ang pinakamaliit na bulk ng study ang pinakamaliit lang na portion ay yung ginawa for their ecology in the wild. Now, this includes diet research, um, um, home range, and population. So, ilan lang o ito ang pinakalowest na ginawa for, for long-term macaques in the Philippines. Okay, so dahil doon, no, para nating nami-misunderstood na ang, 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 ang long-term macaques. And uh, maliban sa um, pagiging understudied, ang long-tail macaques sa Philippines ay mayroon din threats and some conservation concerns. So, okay, ito. So, the species um, is now considered as vulnerable under the um, IUCN read list. So, this is updated um, last year due to hunting, habitat destruction, and conflict with um, humans. Um, but in the national level assessment, these long-tailed macaques were removed from the OTS or the other um, threatened species due to their stable population and wide geographical um, distribution. So, pero kahit ganito, no, kahit may conflicting ang, 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 ang worldwide IUCN assessment and the uh, national level, meron din talaga mga threats na gi face ang ating long-tailed macaques. Okay, so number one, ang, ang trade. No, so this includes pet trade and trade for um, biomedical research. No, so um, just this year, merong 50 individuals of long-tailed um, macaques na hinuli. And I don't know the update um, sa, sa news na ito. I don't know kung saan gagamitin yung, yung mga long-tailed macaques na to. Um, possibly for, for meat or for, or for biomedical research. Um, um, if you have an update about this, I would be very, um, I mean, kailangan ko tong malaman, no? So, in a way, this um, type of activity ay maka-affect talaga sa population ng, ng long-tailed macaques. So, maliban sa marimihang paghuli ng long-tailed macaques, meron ding pet traits na nangyayari. So, this is um, common um, all, throughout the, um, all throughout the Philippines. So, ang 
kadalasan ginagawa, long-tailed macaques, hinuhuli, bata pa, so nakakatuwa. Pero habang lumalaki, ay, um, because they are wild animals, they become um, aggressive. And uh, um, ang, ang sad dito ay kung naging aggressive sila, ay pinapatay or tinatapon na lang sa, sa forest. And because they are um, pets, hindi sila fit uh, mabuhay sa, sa forest. So yun ang isang problem natin dito, ang pet trade. So pet trade does not only affect the population, but also affect the, that individual in, uh, the, the, the monkey in, in the individual level. So stressful yan for, for the ongoy. Okay, next ay itong conflict with um, humans. So this include damages and harvest of farmers. So based from um, our study conducted in, in Palawan, um, most of the respondents, um, they, they look at long-term macaques as pests or noisance. No? So because though they are um, crop, um, crop raiders in their, in their farms. So um, another one of this type of conflict is the aggressive attacks. So um, last year, I think um, ito sa na news to, and then we featured din sa um, Jessica Soho na yung long-tailed macaque ay nagat ng, ng, ng local no, person. However, um, hinuli pala niya no, yung, yung long-tailed macaque. So syempre, itong long-tailed macaque ay babawi talaga din. So just those are just example of aggressive conflicts and conflict with our local farmers. And because of this, um, people tend to harm or persecute these monkeys. So an example here ay yung sa nangyayari sa Romblon. And ang sabi ng mga tao doon o sabi ng um, 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 sabi nila, no? tumataas na daw yung population ng ng unggoy sa, sa Romblon. And hindi lang to sa Romblon, pati daw sa ibang parts ng Philippines. However, um, we don't have, have any data on the population of these long-tailed macaques yet, uh, maliban sa mga sinabi ko kanina ng mga studies. So, minsan kasi, ang akala natin, masyadong marami na yung long-tailed macaques sa, sa area, pero um, actually, minsan nagkakaroon lang yun siya ng illusion. No? na akala natin marami pero sa punta ka sa forest wala na sila. So example sa reason yan ay long-tailed macaques are diurnal. So ibig sabihin umaga sila nagpapakita, no? Followed by long-tailed macaques are um nabubuhay sa um edge ng forest or minsan pumupunta na sa 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 mga tao. And third, kung makita ang long-tailed macaque, they are in troops, so maramihan. So, minsan pagtingin natin, masyado silang marami, no? Kasi nasa, nasa farm sila, marami sila doon, at kitang-kita natin. Pero kung pumunta tayo sa forest, ay minsan ay wala na talagang long-tailed macaque. Um, ginawa to sa research, no? Some in, in other countries outside the Philippines. And akala nila marami yung long-tailed macaques doon, but when they studied the natural forest or natural um, habitat of the long-tailed macaque, ay wala na palang long-tailed macaque o iilan na lang yung long-tailed macaques sa area. So, yun ay yung mga dapat nating i-consider um, when we manage or conserve, or, I mean manage um, the, these conflicts. Okay, so um, other than um, um, habitat destruction, conflicts, or trade, meron din mga um, other um, threats um, activities tayo na nakaka-threaten sa, sa population ng long-tail macaques. So, meron tayong feeding, no, sa nag-feed ng wildlife, but this will actually um, change the behavior of, of long-tail macaques kung pinapakain natin sila. So, if nag-provision nag tayo ng food sa kanila, hindi na sila nag-hahunt. Nag-change sa kalang behavior, minsan ay nagiging aggressive. Kung hindi sila nag nag pumupunta sa forest um, yung energy na ginagamit nila na dapat pagpunta sa sa forest ay ginagamit na lang nila for for mating and then minsan nagkakaroon na tayo ng problem sa population and because of of this feeding or provisioning of food um, to to, to these long-tailed macaques 
And another one is irresponsible selfies and um, uploading pictures sa ating social media. So katulad dito sa picture na ito, ang iba, ang tingin nito ay parang okay lang to handle long term macaques, but, but it's not. No? It's actually pwede siyang mag-cost ng pag-increase ng demand sa pet trade. Uh, pet, delikado din for sa tao, uh, may makagat, at um, delikado din um, sa, sa long-tailed macaque. Um, because pwede magkaroon din ng transmission ng diseases. So we call this as zoonotic, no? zoonotic transmission. So uh, pathogens from these long-tailed macaques sa tao, but hindi lang yun. No? Pwede rin kasi tayo ang maka-transmit ng ating diseases sa sa animal. So minsan ay nagiging fatal din ito um, for, for them. Okay, so knowing this um, research gaps, no, knowing these research gaps and conservation concerns, are there any initiatives to do research and conserve long-tailed macaques in the country? No, so um, the answer is um, yes. So an example here is the humane program or the human macaque um, interface. So this program is headed by the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, in collaboration with other three campuses, University of Southern Mindanao, uh, Visayas State University, and the University of the Philippines, Visayas Tacloban um, College. So this is funded by the National Research Council of the Philippines of the Department of Science and Technology. So this program has three component projects. So number one ay yung um, behavior and ecology of macaques. So um, we want to, to know what are the effects of provisioning on the behavior of and the ecology of long-tailed macaques. If nag-change ba ang diet or ano yung mga seeds na dispersed nila sa, sa forest. While yung project two will focus on a one health approach, no? zoonotic transmission, of gastrointestinal parasites. While the project three will um, understand the human knowledge, perception, and practices. So these are very important, lalo na sa conservation and management um, in, in scenarios like this, no, in, in conflicts. Okay, so basically this is just the um, summary um, of the humane program. So yung blue, Yan yung problems na, na, na nakikita natin and the possible reasons why nagkaroon tayo ng ganitong, ng ganitong problems. No? While yung, yung yellow, yan yung project, yan yung um, activities and outputs na pwedeng ma-generate ng project or ng program. While yung um, green, ay yan yung um, outcomes, mga possible outcomes, long-term outcomes, and possible impacts. Okay, so let's start dito sa, sa blue. Okay, so here are the, the, the existing problems, some of the existing problems na makikita natin sa, sa interface between um, humans and macaques. So example ito yung conflict and zoonosis. So this happens um, we, if we uh, modify the habitat of long-tailed macaques. So for example, sinisira natin yung forest or um, change natin yung landscape, no? ginagawa natin agricultural. So syempre doon, magkakaroon na talaga ng uh, interaction or interface uh, because nag-share na tayo ng same um, habitat. Okay, so because long-tailed macaques are um, tinitignan natin, uh, tinitignan ng ibang tao ang long-tailed macaques as, as pests, um, minsan meron tayong um, negative perception towards um, this animal. So nagkokos yon ng killing of long-tailed macaques or um, lack of support for the conservation of this animal and its, and its habitat. Okay, so another one ay yung provisioning of long-tailed macaques. So this will um, change their behavior. Um, they will become um, aggressive and this will change also their diet. And um, so sinabi ko kanina, long-tailed macaques are seed dispersers. No? So if mag-change ng kanilang diet, then yung kanilang ecological role ay hindi na nila magagampanan. No? So for example, um, um, pinapakain natin siya sa isang area, for example sa road, hindi na sila pupunta sa forest 
kundi ang kanilang nakain ng mga um, prutas ay nasa beside lang ng, ng road. So, yun ay isang example. And because we are both primates, we um, share the same resources. And sometimes, um, yung nasabi ko kanina, um, may, may, may competition. Um, may competition din. Okay, so from these problems, um, binoo ng DOST, NRCP, and our team ang um, UMAIN program um, with three component projects. No, ang project one ay gustong malaman sa part ng, gustong malaman sa interface na to ang, ang sa unggoy na part. No? While yung project three, sa, sa tao, gusto nang malaman kung sa side naman ng tao. While yung sa project two, will investigate the indirect interaction between these two species through investigating zoonotic pathogens. So these projects will um, generate um, results that um, can be used for um, creating a, an index of um, zoonosis and conflict. So ang gusto namin dito ay to generate an index that will measure the likelihood that a conflict or zoonosis will happen in a particular area. And this was also needed for um, policy recommendation or um, amending policies, um, not only sa local government unit, but also sa tourist area management. Third, ay yung magagamit for awareness campaign um, to change some negative perception or belief of, of people towards long-tailed macaques. And for the scientific community, our um, publications. And these um, outputs will now be used to mitigate conflict and zoonosis. And this will, um, uh, we aim that by mitigating the conflict, this will impact the, the society by um, promoting yung, yung health, healthy, um, safe, and healthy people. No? Um, less stress for both um, species, um, sustainable and safe tourism, and then the environment, of course, the conservation ng long-term macaques and, and its um, habitat. Okay, so are there any, uh, in, aside from, from humane, are there any initiatives na, na meron tayo ngayon na ginagawa? No, of course, uh, meron din. No? So, Ito ang Philippine Matching um, Project. So this is our proposal. Nasa proposal stage pa lang sila. Um, um, I mean kami. So I hope merong mag-fund. And this will um, target the macaque trades um, happening in the Philippines and also population monitoring in different um, areas in the Philippines. So Philippine Matching stands for um, Macaque Trade Survey and population monitoring um, project. Okay, so the next one is adapting a guideline or the guideline of IUCN for primate photography. So as as was what as what was discussed um kanina, um meron threat then for long-tailed macaques or other primates ang um, ang irresponsible selfies and um, posting of pictures ng ng species sa uh, social media. So the IUCN um, created these guidelines and we will be adapting this in our project. Um, so we are already in, in, in the process of translating the guidelines into um, Tagalog first and then sa ibang um, language na meron tayo dito sa Pinas. And of course, um, new researches ng students and other researchers, no? So, example, dito na bagong ginawang research ay yung study ni Ms. Um, Chena Lindul Santos and our team. Um, we conducted a behavioral study in, in Hindang Leyte. And another um, interesting research conducted um, for, for long-tailed macaques ay yung ginawa ni Sir Calvin Meneses. Um, he is a, a faculty in UPLB, so it's an anthropological approach. So it's very interesting. And with these um, initiatives, no, with these initiatives, I hope that we will um, um, understand, no, um, clearly understand this um, misunderstood um, primate in, in the Philippines.
And um, I think that that would be all for my presentation. And um, I'm ready for question and answers. I, I mean, questions. Okay. Hello. Uh, thank you, Lee, for that uh, very interesting presentation. I hope the tuloy tuloy ang inyong uh, research and uh, we hope for very good uh, results in the future. Okay, so uh, the floor is available for uh, your questions. Uh, if you want to send in the question, just put it in the chat box. Uh, I have listed a few questions here. Um, Sir Lee, what do you think is the, is the reason uh, why there are more studies on macaques compared to the other primates in the Philippines? Um, aside from the reason that they are uh, good uh, potential subjects for the biomedical for biomedical purposes, so uh, any 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 more observation on why do you think uh, there's a skew towards uh, more researches conducted on the uh, Philippine macaques? Ah, thank you very much. Um, that's interesting. Actually, um, ma maraming um, reasons, no? Um, yung sinabi mo, um, Sir, um, Sir Cruz, about the long term macaques are used for biomedical research, but also in, in, in terms of their biology and natural history, no? So long term macaques are everywhere in the Philippines. So samples or individuals are, are um, nandyan, no? Pede. While yung um, tar shears, they are limited mm -hmm. in the Mindanao fauna region, um, lalo na na for slow lorries that they are only in, found in, in, in southern Mindanao. So I think that that's um, the main reason. No? Um, aside from that, um, these tar shears and slow lorries are, are nocturnal. So mas mahirap silang hanapin mm -hmm. compared so to, to long-tailed macaques. Um, any chance na may reason din ba ang like um, yung pagiging charismatic would you consider that uh, long-tailed macaques are charismatic than tarsiers or slow lo loris ganun ba um, I, I don't know but mm -mm. Um, these primates are all charismatic no? mm -mm. lalong lalo na actually itong slow loris slow loris oh. are very charismatic they are famous in pet trade then kasi cute sila mm -hmm. but again um, pet trades the slow loris and other primates are are bad no not only for for them but also for 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 us no mm -hmm. for us humans kasi for example itong slow loris they are actually venomous so akala natin cute uh, but yun, actually they are venomous so same with goes to other primates so they are not for um pets mm -hmm. wala lang uh, uh, na, na curious lang ako kasi i think uh, it, it would be a one good uh, thing that uh, your program can look at uh, especially when you're looking at the the sociological part you no know? um of course there are certain reasons why um there are perceptions. Siguro, pwede nyo include yun sa perceptions ng tao. O diba? Pwede yung perceptions yeah. ng scientists or ng tao. I don't know. Pero yun nga, it's uh, something na curious ako kasi aside from, you know, the normal uh, reasons, which is the, yung tinatawag nating uh, uh, uses and gratifications for for that purposes, ay baka meron pa, no? It could be mm. more of the a historical or sociological component. Okay, uh, we have a question from Kim Desena. How do you physically differentiate between the Philippine long-tailed macaque and the long-tailed macaque from Indonesia and Malaysia? Are there are uh, there long uh, <laughs> long-tailed macaque from Indonesia and Malaysia present here in the Philippines? Are they kept um, in zoos? Long-tailed macaques, yeah, yeah, they are. They are long-tailed macaques are found all throughout. Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. no. So there are um, individuals or populations of long-tailed macaques mm -hmm. in in those countries. So physically, no, speaking, yung sabi ko kanina, um, long-tailed macaques in the Philippines are um, based from other studies. They are darker, no, darker yung yung kulay. While yung while while yung nasa um, um, Borneo na part ay yung, yun yung mas mas lighter. Mm -hmm. 
um I actually observed them when uh, when I went to to Malaysia and makita mo talaga ang pagkakaiba no yung yung kulay talaga ang pagkakaiba however um in terms of the genetics ay hindi pa masyadong uh, magkaiba yung dalawa no that's why ngayon ang ibang um, authorities ay kino-consider na itong Philippine long-tail max ay um part pa rin siya ng malakihang population na ma-observe din natin sa sa other countries such as um, Indonesia and, and Malaysia. Mm -hmm. But uh, do we have also populations of these long-tailed macaques uh, from Indonesia and Malaysia? Meron ba? Like, are there populations of those uh, kinds of macaques in the Philippines? Um, um, we, we don't have. No? Mm -hmm. In the uh, wild? And, yeah, in the wild. Of course, sa may mga nagpepets kasi um, mm -hmm. long-tailed macaques are traded no hindi lang sa within philippines mm -hmm. but also um inter country na, na na trade meron din yan would would there be a possibility that you know local populations of these uh, uh, exotic macaques can uh, establish yeah, themselves in the future yeah there, there's but, a possibility long tailed mm -hmm. macaques are are very adaptable and mm -hmm. um, in other countries no um, i forgot an example of that island. So anyway, um, may nakastablish ang long-tail macacton. So they are considered there as as introduced species. So I'm I'm sorry I forgot the the exact location. Okay. So from okay from Melaine Blessy Mendez, um, her question is: Are there cases of people beaten by rabid long-tail macaques? So the operative word is is rabid. Rabid. Um, I'm not quite sure, no. Um, kung kung meron na, mm -hmm. um, but sa pagkakalam ko ay um, wala pa kung am um, narinig about that. But there are bites, no. May mag may mga cases na mm -hmm. uh, magbite sila. So kadalasan ng kinakagat, if you will ask, ay yung mga um, leeg, mukha. So yun ang mga targets nila. So same way kung nagaaway away sila, yun ang kanilang target. Mm -hmm. So for rabbit, um, I, uh, but I don't in know. <laughs> but in any case that you are bitten by a long-tailed macaque, um, uh, it's protocol that you have a, a rabbit shot, right? Yep. Okay. Tama. So make sure that. Yeah. <laughs> so, sa, sa inyo makagat, make sure na magpaturok kayo ha. Okay. So from Senevix Maniago, um. Has there been a study or a case where um, there's an inf infestation by long-tailed macaques on residential areas? So um, if there are, were there any solutions forwarded by this uh, study or by this case? Are there studies? Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, kung, kung may study na ab about long-tailed macaques in, na na in, like infest? Oh, uh, infest in, in residential areas. I think um, baka hindi yeah. naman study. It could be a case. Uh, there's case and there's also study no um yung sinabi ko kanina um studies ni ni, ni Sir Calvin um and ni ni, ni Miss Chenaline de los Santos um, he's here he, she's actually a graduate student in UPLB mm -hmm. so it was conducted also in our site um your current site namin in in Hindang so yeah it may mga cases and my studies na rin. and if and the, the second question is about the management um, maraming pwedeng gawin, no? Um, and I hope yung gagawin ng local government or yung kung sino man ang nandun ay yung humane na, na paraan, no? Kadalasan kasi yung iniisip natin ay diretso patayin. No? Yan ang una natin naiisip. Pero marami actually pwedeng gawin. Um, um, number one, ay kailangan natin istadihan mismo kung totoong, kung anong type ng conflict ang meron sila kung gano'n na kalala ang conflict at from that doon na tayo kukuha ng um, approach to manage no example ay control yung population um, or translocation if, if possible if papayag yung isang area na doon ilagay yung yung monkey mm, I see. so yun ay just um, examples na mga pwedeng gawin mm -hmm. okay a uh, question from Marion John Michael uh, Achondo um how do we manage monkeys as uh, who which are pests in agricultural plantations uh, 
does your project plan to address these issues? Um, actually, na marami ang marami ang ganito ang problem no in not only in the Philippines but in other countries and ang hirap niyang i-manage. So, ang first na approach diyan ay syempre um isali din namin sa aming project um Sir Mac ay ang pag um, awareness campaign um because um syempre dapat nila ma-understand muna kung ano ang long-tail macaques. Um minsan kasi ang isip natin diretso they are um pests but actually they're just part they're just doing their their thing sa sa area na kumakain. And nagkataon lang na doon tayo nag nagtanim kung saan sila. So an isa sa example diyan ay yung uh, um, alamin kung ano ang kanilang kinakain naturally at doon magtanim sa area na yan kung ano ang kinakain nila. And if mas prefer nila yung pagkain na yan, doon doon sila kakain at hindi yung kakainin yung iyong um what do you call that? Yung yung iyong mga pananim. So, so yun ay isa lang sa example. So actually, marami pa. No? Yung iba nag-fence, physical barriers ang ginagawa. At depends on sa maging resulta ng research. Mm. So, pero yung physical barrier, um, ano ba siya? Uh, would it be, <laughs> uh, ano yung efficacy rate kaya niya? Ay, actually, hindi. hindi no? um, yung isa sa, I mean, sabi kong physical barriers, for example, yung dogs, no? Mm, uh, isa okay. yun sa ginagawa ng mga farmers. I see. So, yun. Yun lang ay sa mga um, examples lang na pwedeng, I mean, na pwedeng ma-explore. But um, in my site, um, in, in the project, um, I still don't know kung ano ang dapat. So, I will just also want to, to syempre, consult then the, all the stakeholders kung, karapa, uh, I mean, kung katanggap-tanggap ba ang ganitong management sa kanila or hindi. So, Parang ganun. Yes. So, so from uh, I love uh, San Jose. <laughs> I love San Jose. Okay. Uh, macaques usually, as per your ano, uh, observations, they live in populations no, or groups. So uh, what is the community dynamics of the group? Do they have internal structures or interpopulation interactions? Yeah. 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 They have. Um, um, they have this um, alpha male, no? This alpha male is the leader. So that's the social um, um, structure ng, ng long-tail macaque. So they have that. No, kadalasan, ang sinasabi nila na hulihin daw yung, yung, alpha, yung male. alpha male. Pero actually, kung huli mo alpha male, meron din magpapalit sa, sa kanyang position. So mm -hmm. it's, um, ganun siya kahirap i-manage din. Um, in, 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 in some areas. So, aside from alpha male, meron din silang mga, um, yung mga female, na mga dominant, ayun ang nagsusunod-sunod. Um, and then, followed by the sub-adults, then juveniles, and then, syempre, the infants. So, um, pag merong inter-population, or hindi naman inter na, how about yung ano, population versus population? Ano yung typical na observations na kikita mo pagdating doon? Okay. So um, you mean the uh, troop wars, no? Oh, parang ganoon. Oh, may may clan. Um, oh. Yeah, um na observe na namin yan sa sa Palawan and mm -hmm. it actually happens kung saan may provision, kung saan nagpapakain. Mm -hmm. No? Kasi doon yung kanilang napupuntahan silang pagkain. Syempre, once makita nilang um, isang troop ay nag-aaway sila. So it nangyayari talaga yan na mm -hmm. may may troop wars. So an example also when we are we're doing a trapping no sa long-term macaques for our um, research last last year ay may nahuling dalawang individuals no tapos nagkataon yung dalawang individual yan sa isang malaking cage ay magkaiba yung yung troop nila. Mm -hmm. So syempre magligtas iligtas ng dalawa troops and doon doon sila nag-away sa <laughs> sa sa cage na yan. So, I mean, yung buong troop doon sa malapit sa cage. And yan. I think it's it's their um, nature na nila. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh there's a question, what are the natural threats uh, 
natural, which means uh, non-man-made or non-man-incurred to the population of Philippine macaques. So could you give examples of these uh, natural threats? Natural threats, um, yeah, they are basically the same with other primates in, I, I mean, other long-tailed macaques from mm -hmm. other populations in other countries. So they have this long tail for, for balancing. Um, actually, mas nasa taas sila, no? Um, kaysa sa ibang um, unggoy, no? Like for example, pig-tailed macaque, short ang tail, kaya nasa ground. Long-tailed macaque ay masyadong mahabang tail, nasa taas, parang ganun. But um, in the Philippines, uh, maliban sa, yun ang sabi ko na, na, um, um, color ng long-tailed macaque, um, we still don't have data no? kung ano ang meron sila, lalo sa behavior. Mm -hmm. So other populations of long-tailed macaques in other countries, no? in some islands pa nga, naging very specific na sila. Nakakuha sila ng parang pinangalanan na sila as new subspecies because mm -hmm. they have this um, particular trait na sa kanila makikita. Yung isa ay gumagamit na ng tools no? Mm, I see. Marunong na. Prehensile uh, na. Uh, ginagamit na yung pam pambukas ng, ng shells. So, um, so for long-term macaques, um, I still don't know um, because, again, they are understudied. Um, e, understudied in, in our country. Mm -hmm. So, baka meron. Let's so, see. Okay. So, aside from yung um, um, anthropogen uh, anthropogenic na na threats uh, what are the other threats that you think uh, uh, that could uh, what do you call this um, uh, uh, affect the population of long-tailed macaques in the Philippines so uh, it disregard natin yung man-made let's go to the natural natural uh, natural uh, threats and barriers to to these populations uh, any uh, any ideas or cases um this long term macaques um yung population nila kaya hindi man ganun pa ka, ka problematic no mm -hmm. um kaya man nila no mas magparami so in in nature um they have this you know um predators but it's sustainable. Hindi sila naubos because of the, the predators lang. Mm -hmm. And possibly, um, mga bagyo and uh, mm, climate change uh, may, may affect um, the population of long-tail macaques. How about natural sickness? Meron kayang something like a pandemic uh, within their population? Um, uh, um, for, for diseases, Mayroon na mga cases na, nagkaka, na, na namamatay sila but um, the, the problem is I don't know kung if it's natural mm -hmm. um, sa kanila yung disease na yun. So it happens also I think in Laguna, no? nasa, nasa monkey farm na mm -hmm. namatay because of Ebola-like um, Ebola um, what do you call that? Ebola-like um, disease, no? Pero I don't know if that's um, natural to them. Mm -hmm. But they can actually, um, we, in terms of diseases, yung study namin sa Palawan on the monkey malaria, no? um, they are infected with monkey malaria, pero wala silang symptoms. Mm -hmm. So, yun. And maybe um, if it's okay, Sir Cruz, um, mm -hmm. Sir Kelvin, um, I think merong siyang idagdag. Ito yung sinasabi kong nag-study rin ng long-tail macaque. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Sir Kelvin? Oh, wait. Uh, let me check. Sige, later. Uh, okay. Hanapin ko lang siya. Anyway, uh, let's go. Uh, let's proceed muna doon sa, ano, sa iba pang mga questions. So, questions. Sure. Okay. so Please, for, yeah. for public awareness and for students that are who are planning to study long-tailed macaques or primates in the future, um, <laughs> With the current situation now, uh, what protocols are added, or you know, what certain requirements should be considered in studying them, especially now that we are in a pandemic? No, so 
maraming permits no um sa, sa aming project pa lang ay ay may sa program ay marami kami kinukuha na ngayon na permit no number one, ay nasa Mount Apo kami so we need um um what do you call that pambi permit no pambi mm -hmm. um certification and um syempre DNR permit needed lalo na meron kaming collection ng feces and representative plant species na kinakain nila and um, if there's handling no long tail makak you need ayaco clearance lalo na mm -hmm. if it's invasive so ginaw kinuha ko yung ayaco clearance when i studied long tail makak in palawan kasi may handling na nangyari but for this um, project it's not invasive but we still um, needed some um, daghan o maraming mm -hmm. um, permits so nandiyan yung permits from NCIP um, permits from DNR, permits from ethics, um, and of course, um, local government unit um, permits. So, yun, no? Yun ang mga kadalasan na kukunin ng student kung mag-study ng long-tailed macaques. Yes, and or, I believe... Uh, I mean, wildlife din. And I think, I um, know, our condition now, our situation now is currently, you know, it's in flux, so... Just make sure that you communicate with the with the proper agencies yeah. <laughs> and authorities to make sure that you know everything you do is uh, above board. So let me call on uh, Sir Kelvin Mineses uh, to uh, yes, give sir, Kelvin sir, to good add. morning. Hello. Yes, El yes, Kelvin, we can hear you. Apo. Ah, nag interrupt ako kay Sir Leaf. Nag message ako sa kanya kasi yung yung tanong po ay May nagtanong nung tungkol sa ano yung iba pang uh, natural threats mm -hmm. yes, sa mapaks uh, na hindi man-made, hindi man-incured. I think yung point ng project nila, I think nan yung beyond doon sa natural, titingnan talaga yung uh, human and uh, non-human primate interactions, isa doon sa components, I think. At yun din yung ginawa ko doon sa study ko noong 2018, hindi ko pa lang siya napapublish. Na mm -hmm. Pero sa subit naman yung case na ito, at uh, so primatology yung approach so yun po yun po sana yung mas titingnan kaya kaya sobrang interesting ng program ni na sir dahil uh, mas holistic yun so titingnan yung zoonotic na aspect titingnan yung uh, population uh, monitoring titingnan din yung uh, human non human primate interactions so yun po i think na, lumalabo na sa perspective ng anthropology yung mm -hmm. idea ng natural uh, threat dahil sobrang an yung mismong uh, ano ng IUCN nalilito sila kung uh, vulnerable ba or hindi kasi nga yung bat batay doon sa data walang masyadong malinaw na data at saka bukod pa doon sa bukod pa doon sa walang malinaw na data hindi rin nakikita kung paano ba talaga nakikita yung threat sino talaga yung kasi iba po yung sa kaya hindi rin siya inaaral dahil hindi naman siya nauubos parang ganoon hindi mm -hmm. <laughs> hindi kagaya nung halimbawa nung slow loris hindi pa ako nakakita ng slow loris sa Pilipinas nakita ko yung isang study pero ang tagal na pero wala pa talagang nag-aaral din nun yung sa tarsier iba rin kasi iba yung mas charismatic ang tarsier I think sa perspective ng biologist so yun po lala, maganda yung project dahil lalagpas doon sa idea ng natural na threat makikita na may talagang uh, at entanglement sa pagitan ng natural at hindi natural, human at non-human. So, thank you po sa opportunity. Uh, yun po. Thank you, thank you Kevin, sir, for that input. Okay. Uh, actually, gusto ko rin na mabasa na yung, yung paper. <laughs> uh, it's a, sa perspective ng anthropology, very interesting din. Um, Misan kasi nagiging bias no? sa, sa perspective ng biologist ang, ang ganitong study. Yes. So, yes. that's why needed na mga sa social science na, na research. Okay, uh, thank you. Okay, so, uh, a question from Neil Bert Moniva. Uh, are there movements or trade of Philippine macaques, Philippine macaques to other countries? Um, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, nag stop siya noong 2015, I think. Um, if hindi ko na kakalimutan, nag stop siya noong 2015 because of, um, yun nga, sinabi ko kanina yung, yung, yung problem sa Ebola, like disease nila. No, so, but um, I think ngayon meron din, meron pa rin hanggang 2020, 2020, 2019, meron pa rin um, trade na nangyayari sa, from, from the Philippines to um, other countries, especially mm -hmm. sa United States. And, and, I, and I think based on my readings and also my opinion, uh, mas maglala pa to, no? mas marami pa tayong matrade sa taas 
uh, I mean sa ibang um, countries kasi um, dahil sa COVID-19, no? Paggawa ng vaccines, testing, uh, so it's possible. Possible ngayon. So a follow-up question from Mr. Moniva. Um I think siguro for the for the benefit of our audience, uh, are there existing policies that prevent the hauling and trade of these long-tailed macaques across the regions in the country. So what is there a specific um, law, act, or guideline, or regulation that is being implemented by the government uh, right now? Um, I think I can only um, enumerate the two. Of course, the United One Four Seven Wildlife Act. So it's mm. not specific, but cover niya ang long-tailed macaque. And again, yung sa animal welfare, no? Mm -hmm. So animal welfare, uh, minsan kasi, um, um, yun, no? Yun ang examples. But if um, you need specific guidelines um, in long-tailed macaque sa Philippines, actually parang wala pa, mm -hmm. no? So, uh, inas din to ng IUCN sa akin if there are already these existing guidelines on how to conserve, on how to, um, you know, manage um, um wala pang ganon na, na guidelines on how to manage conflict in the Philippines wala pa so yun ay isa naming target then for for this program um um ano pa ba wildlife trafficking yeah na monitor naman siya mm -hmm. kasi part ata to siya ng CITES appendix 2 i think and yun yung uh, malalaking um organization or law na nagpro-protect sa ating long-tailed macaque as of now. Mm -hmm. So okay, so if you if you think yung meron pa ibang nakitang laws, uh, siguro you could just uh, put it here mm -hmm. in the chat box for everyone to see. Okay. So from Dianara Lanwang, um, do you happen to know if there are any macaque species that have already acquired the uh, novel coronavirus? Pwede siguro siya. May international case na ba? Or... Um, if, if you ask me kung may narinig na, um, wala pa, no? wala pa akong narinig. But it's possible no? because primates. Um, nangyari nata siya sa gorilla no? sa ibang bansa. Um, but for long-tailed macaques, um, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, sa, lalo sa Philippines. Ha? I'm, I'm just talking about the Philippine population here. Um, wala pa akong narinig. Mm -hmm. But it's possible no i don't know sa ibang bansa kung kung meron na yeah there's also there's always a possibility so yeah. <laughs> you know when you handle your backhack make sure na ano na lang din uh you uh mag-iingat na rin tayo no okay yeah <laughs> so from kim desena so keeping macaques as pets are common uh, mm -hmm. it's common in the philippines uh, uh if someone approaches and approaches you for example uh, uh, they want one. How how would you respond to it? Um, it's actually as a faculty, no, as a as a teacher. So I think that would be my approach. Um, e e educate, no, uh, about the existing laws and what would happen if they keep long tail macaques as as pets. So maybe that's my my first re reaction um, to that. And uh, habang wala pa naman ginagawa habang wala pang ginagawang um, yun nga pagpet or panghuli um, no need man ata siya i-report pa because mm -hmm. yun pwede pang magbago ang ganong ang kagustuhan ng tao so um, gusto mag-share na lang din ako Sir Cruz about yes, yes. pets hindi ko kasi siya na um, na-explain kanina no so kung mapansin nyo common talaga siya ang pets um, sa, ang long term macaques as pets in, in the Philippines and minsan, um, i -re report mo, I already, nagre-report man din ako no, na aking nakikitang long-tailed macaque na inalagaan. Pero ang um, nahirapan minsan na ating authorities kung saan ilalagay yung long-tailed macaque na yun. Um, walang masyadong paglalagyan. Um, hindi naman pwede silang pakawalan sa, sa forest. Kasi babalik din sila sa tao. So it will cause again a, a conflict. No? And... Um, yun, minsan nahirapan din yung ating authorities kung saan ilalagay, um, lalo na for long-tail macaques kasi masyado sa marami 
at dapat malaki din ang kanilang cage. So may time na rin nag-report ako ng long tail macaque sa, sa DNR um, na inaalagaan ang um, walang nagawa din ang ang ang, ang authority uh, ay, kasi um, walang paglalagyan ng long tail macaque. So ang ginawa na lang, gi-require na lang yung 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 may-ari na palakihin mm -hmm. ang 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 kulungan at ano yun nga pero um, for me um, hindi pa rin yun sapat no hindi pa rin yun sapat and it's sad na um, nahuli pa tayo sa ganong ang guidelines so yun ang kailangan natin ng guidelines din sir Cruz mm -hmm. um, paano okay. paano isolve ba ang ganyan so actually marami kayong gagawin <laughs> maraming gagawin ang uh, ano ang uh, ang sector ng mga scientists to, to to make sure that uh, the plight of these uh, long-tailed macaques and other species, yung mga primates especially, uh, they live in conditions that are acceptable naman. No? <laughs> so, um, from uh, again, from Neil Bert Moniva, you mentioned about the population reduction uh, as a method in alleviating human macaque conflict. Uh, conflict. So... Uh, is gathering for regional trade an option or modality in, redu in reducing the population? So parang um, you, you get them from one community uh, and then trade it big time sa ibang bansa, something like that? Ay, hindi. Um, <laughs> yun bang, I, I hope na tama yung pagkakaintindi ko sa question ni uh, Neil Bert Moniva, pero uh, that's how I see it. But yeah, I think um, hindi ganyan ata mag-work ang, ang trade no sa sa atin, no? Mm. Ang ang trade sa atin ay kumukuha tayo ng wild population. Uh, I mean wild individuals from from the population and then pinaparami natin sila and then yung mga anak yun na yung i-trade. Uh, if that's mm -hmm. uh, hindi so kung ganyan ang nangyayari, no? Hindi siya talaga maging sustainable ang ganyang pamamaraan. Kasi kumuha tayo doon, dadami pa rin sila hanggat hindi natin ma makita kung anong road cost. No? For example, feeding. No? Available ang pagkain for them palagi. So magpaparami pa rin sila. Kukuha lang tayo ng kukuha. Um, so yun. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think the trade is kukuha ka ng population, paparamihin sa farm, and then yun ang i-export. So minsan din, sa ganitong ang practice, nagkakaroon tayo ng wildlife laundering. I, I don't know if tama ang pagkaintindi sa laundering. No? Mm. Um, um, sa, sa farm, sinasabi natin na kinuha natin sila, oh, they are captive bred, no? mga anak na to. Pero minsan, mga wild pala ang ating pinapadala. So, posible mangyari yan. Lalo na kung walang guidelines talaga na, na, na clear, na available um, sa, 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 sa public. Okay. So, so uh, yon from thank you from Cyro Silvosa Biliado, uh, Sir Leaf. In case you have some data, uh, does caging or putting enclosures around macaques increase uh, their aggression? How should animal parks house these macaques and other primates? Um, kailangan kasi nalagay na sa cage yun na yung mga tino turn over na o dun donate na di ko alam if tama ang term tino turn over na na may ari kasi they are aggressive so kung mapansin mo uh, I, I mean mapansin natin mas nagiging ag aggressive na ako nasa kung nasa cage but um, hindi sapat ang maliit na na cage for long tail macaques because again they are very smart uh, they have feelings no as primates mm -hmm. na may ganun ba na so nagkokos din to ng mental health problem for for long term macaques and this has already been documented uh, many times na itong caging ay hindi lang nagkokos ng aggression pero nagkokos din ng mental health problem for for the species okay so our next chats are actually our comments from Ma'am Judy Malibot um well, she says that the, uh, you know, yung, uh, regarding the slow lorries, uh, nagkaroon lang ng pandemic, kaya itutuloy naman yun after the pandemic. Yeah. And um, the slow lorries, for everyone's information, are only found in Simunul, Tawi-Tawi, and a preliminary study was done in 2018, but due to 
many reasons. Probably um, it was not uh, followed up. Okay. Any more questions? Okay, from Glezi Norial. Uh, here in the Philippines, has there been any documentation on the natural predators of long-tailed macaques? I think uh, she's referring to probably published published literature. Uh, published literatures. Um, I don't know if there are published literatures about siguro, long macaques. Oh, mukha naman kasing, ano, no, siguro sa atin, intuition uh, natin, kinakain naman siya ng, <laughs> ng, ng, ng sawa, eagle. ng eagle, no? pero di ba, uh, iba rin talaga yung yeah, there, tama, there's tama, literature tama, tama. saying that. Or, oh, eh, hmm. what, what do you think? So may mga news na rin, no? hmm. <laughs> for example, mga, di, di ko alam kung published, oh, hindi man siya published paper, pero yung mga news reports, mm -mm -mm. Um, news articles, ay meron naman, uh, may, may makikita ka na ganun, uh, mga documentations, mm -mm. but for published paper, um, based from my research, ha? Mm -mm. Um, because hinahanap din namin yun eh. Uh, wala pa akong nakita na, na, na publish, ha? Mm -hmm. um, predators, yeah, for dogs, may published, um, but it's not natural. Ah, okay. Um, Kasi yung dogs naman ay wala siya sa Philippines. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So, uh, Neil Bert Moniva again. Uh, what are the key elements that uh, defines or qualifies wildlife wildlife laundering? So, also which uh, which NGA or oh, national government agency should initiate uh, this the prohibition and enforcing enforcement of sanctions uh, for those who are committing wildlife laundering? Mm -hmm. Actually, um, thank you very much for that question. Um, yun pa ang gusto kong i-clear kung tama nga ang aking pagkaintindi sa wildlife laundering. Um, yeah, so syempre, um, if, it, if it's about wildlife, um, we, we already know that's, that, that's a DNR. No? So meron din mga, um, meron din mga, for example, nakikipag-coordinate ang DNR sa, sa um unit sa police um, for for this mga ganito bang pag paghuhuli no kasi wala mang police power ata ang ang people sa DNR so may mga ganun na um, collaborations na nangyayari um CITES ay nagmo-monitor of this type of crime so again yun yun lang ang alam ko about this while life laundering no um mm -hmm. better if ask um um DNR I think and uh, about the terms of wildlife laundering specific um ang tawag specific anong question niya yung key elements uh, key elements key um, elements that define or qualifies laundering. something that you do as wildlife laundering um yun i cannot answer that mm -hmm. uh, but based sa aking pagkakaintindi yun yung isang kong example na parang pinapalabas lang na these are um captive bred but Actually, they are ah. from the wild. So, yun ang aking pagkaintindi lang. Oh, para so, siyang, maybe... ano, modus. It's a modus, <laughs> modus. for, you know, uh, declaring, uh, declaring your products, di ba? Your wildlife mm. products or wildlife byproducts as uh, legally sourced. So, yep. dahil, for example, the demand is that maraming may demand. For example, especially now, they want test subjects na ah, yung ating macaques di ba kailangan ah. maraming industries ang gusto ng gumamit doon so dahil hindi kayang isi-supply ng ating mga monkey farms the legitimate monkey farms they they tend to you know uh, that encourages yung pilferage or yung yung capture ng wild populations and then passing them off as uh, uh, captive bred Diba, individual. So hey, I think mm. I think I siguro ano we'll look for someone to talk on that. <laughs> tama, <laughs> tama, tama. Tama. Okay. Mas better yun, we might talk <laughs> yes, about yes. that. Sir. Of course wala tayong uh, we we can all we can only conject, <laughs> diba? Uh, mm. I sir, may private question dito and I think oh, sure, this sure, is sure. very interesting, no? I'm um, sabi ng Leaf Brian of LNU here, no? Hi sir. So I have read an article of homosexual activities of macaques. Hindi ako sure kung long-tailed siya. Um, hindi daw sure if it's long-tailed. Mm -hmm. uh, meron ba daw na-observe ang team namin? Okay, no? So, this is very interesting and we are actually planning to write this with Sir Kelvin. 
mm-hmm. and 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 my um, RA now. So we have observed um, homosexual activities of long term ah, macaques okay. in the Philippines. So um, what is um, and para mas naging interesting to siya kasi yung 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 gima mount ay yung um, alpha male. Oh really? Yeah. So okay. ang ang nangyayari based sa uh, asaming um, observation six times na to nangyayari. So af- after nila kumain then um, si, si alpha male ay magmate sa females and then um, this alpha male ay minamount naman ng other adult male. So six times it's always siya palagi ang nasa um, ang ang gimount ng male. So yeah. Um, I think it's not only in in primates but other um, primates no. Um, bonobos are already known um, to 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 do this um, homosexual activity. Um, bonobos actually um, parang chimpanzee yung itsura pero ibang species. Mm-hmm. Interesting nga, no? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, from Chester Bridge, uh, Kuta, uh, probably na-mention mo na to kanina, but uh, he asked what places in the Philippines uh, where the long-tailed macaques are present. Just general view lang of their population in our country. Um, long-tailed macaques are, are everywhere sa, mm-hmm. sa Philippines, no? Kahit nga sa mga maliliit na islands, are, they, they are present. So, The, in, in terms of the population, um, ito yung gusto kong i-point out eh, um, because um, we don't know um, anything about kung ano ba talaga ang nangyayari sa population ng long-tail macaques. So ang general view natin ay they are stable or they are increasing. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, as, as what I mentioned um, kanina na uh, minsan nagiging illusion lang no? kasi nung malapit sila sa tao, Uh, marami yan sila na nagsasama-sama. So, ang tingin natin, parang stable, marami. Pero if we um, study the, their natural habitat in the forest, ay posible wala tayong makita. So, um, ulitin ko ulit na um, nang, ginawa na ito na study sa ibang bansa, mm-hmm. uh, particularly in Indonesia. And then, you know, yun ang nakita nila. Walang, walang, wala nang long-tailed macaque sa forest. o ilan na lang long-tailed macaques sa forest. Mm. But I'm not saying na ganun, t- ganun din ang nangyayari sa Pinas, but there's a probability na same din ang pwede mangyari sa Pinas. So, yun ang kaya gusto namin din maggawa din ng population monitoring din oh. as for the Philippines. Parang it's uh, more more of the validation of the population. Mm. Tama, sir. Okay. So, um, siguro wala nang iba natanong, pero, but I have two more questions. So, first, uh, sure. ko lang naman nito. Uh, let me just uh, state this. So, would you consider uh, a larger network or program uh, in order to strengthen your research on long-tailed macaques uh, that would be participated in by other SUCs uh, in the regions? No, So, I've seen na uh, meron kang from Mindanao and Visayas, but but I think parang wala yata from from mm-hmm. from Luzon. So in relation to that, how would you assess the current ano uh, capability, scientific capability, or manpower, if you will, on long-tailed macaque research? Oh, okay, <laughs> so the reason lang sa you sa you main ha um, for now, ang ang subject ay in in Leyte and in Mindanao. And uh, the main reason is yun ang malapit sa mga um, researcher. No, Visayas State University, malapit sa Hindang, um, um, USM, malapit sa, uh, malapit sa um, makilala, no? North mm-hmm. Cotabato. But um, if, if possible, no? if lalo na gusto namin talaga ito gawin, ang humane program ay mag, maging sustain, masustain ba? And then venture out sa aming... Um, current um, research area so targets maybe in in other other parts of the country no mayroon na kasi mga conflicts din ng um, different um, islands no sa, sa panay negros marami luzon um, and it's a good thing na si sir kelvin ay na start o nakagawa na ng research doon sa, sa luzon so at least ay ma-balance out siya so anyway um, in terms naman ng ng aming um, team no mm-hmm. um syempre sabi ko nga na masyadong 
minsan ang gaytong research sa atin ay uh, naging bias na siya sa point of view ng 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 wildlife biologist but a good thing of for our program ay meron kami mga social scientist and environmental scientist then and molecular um, scientist and parasitologist so it's even um, plant taxonomist no so mm -hmm. holistic yung yung approach and i think that's good no sa sa paggawa ng magandang program for long-tailed macaques and we're also thinking no to to tap other um, researchers as consultants in this yes. project and to add um to to your main to add to your main program no merong yung yung matching matching mm -hmm. program um may representative na yon from from all parts of the the philippines no visayas um luzon and mindanao so the problem lam ay hindi pa kami nakag-start kasi wala pa kami nakikitang o willing mag-fund ng, ng, ng initiative na yon to count long-tail macaques. So, in terms din ng specialization ng, ng team, very, um, ang tawag niyan, pa iba, -iba no? Merong mm -hmm. anthropologist na um, may, um, may experts sa, sa trades, um, a wildlife biologist, and, and others, no? Mm -hmm. So, so ganun ba? Sabi nga ni Prof. Dimalibot, uh, madali lang ang pag-aaral. No? Uh, what is lacking is kung sino daw yung mag-aaral. <laughs> so I think that's uh, well, well a, a big uh, challenge for everyone, especially those who are involved in this humane program, for, for you to develop uh, your second generation of researchers as well. Mm -hmm. no? And hopefully yung, uh, the students that would be funded, you know, those who are will be taking uh, thesis in line with this uh, humane program, uh, they would continue on, um, you know, doing their research, uh, even though they are employed as elsewhere. Uh, they continue on uh, doing their research on the long-tailed macaques. Yeah. Okay, so last question, I think, uh, uh, for me. Uh, regarding the vulner interested lako kasi kasi um, regarding the vulnerability index that you have uh, mm -hmm. that the group that your group wants to develop uh, would it be an adoption of the, of available indices uh, that have been developed in other countries or would you uh, would it be considering the uniqueness of our Philippine situation or Philippine conditions so that the index is, uh, index itself would be I know uh, what you call this uh, dovetailed for for Philippine macaques. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so thank you. Actually, yung yung index na plan ay yung nato matest yung likelihood na magkaroon ng ng conflict mm -hmm. um, and then likelihood na magkaroon ng zoonosis sa tourist area based sa mga practices and based sa kung ano meron don um, the ecology of the macaques um, practices ng ng tourist and locals. So yun ang titingnan namin and um, so far no, wala pa naman siyang um, ginawa pero it's it's possible na meron na no. Mm -hmm. It's possible na meron ng ganun. So anyway, uh, the plan is would be for Philippine setting no that can be used also in other parts sa Philippines na merong conflict o may possible zoonosis na mangyari. So yun yung yung first target. And if wala pa talaga nagawa din sa ibang bansa, no? Um it would be great na if pwedeng ma-adapt yung mm -hmm. yung index na mga gagawa namin for them. All right. So okay. it would be better kung meron nang nagawa din. Oh. Yo, no adapt na lang. <laughs> yes, yeah, so of course and then you uh like fight tune, no? Anyway, mm. um you have workout cut for you. <laughs> uh, so, marami pa rin kayong gagawin. And, uh, and we wish you, you know, we wish you and your uh, team good luck. Uh, especially, now we have, we have to hurdle these uh, challenges and difficulties in doing this kind of research uh, given that we are still uh, occupied with this, uh, occupied by this pandemic. So maraming salamat, Sir Leaf, and to all our audiences. Uh, I've already posted the link to the evaluation form at our chat box. So please uh, click on that while there's, uh, while there's still time. And uh, make sure that you ev evaluate our webinar and so that you can get a copy of your certificate through email. 
And before we end our program, let me just uh, present this um, certificate of uh, certificate of uh, recognition. Let me just uh, share my screen. So um, thank you, Sir Leaf and uh, the Museum of Natural History, Office of the Vice Chancellor for Research and Extension here at UP Los Banos is awarding this certificate of recognition to Leif Erikson D. Gamalo for serving as the research person during the 2021 MNH Biodiversity Seminar Series um, entitled Long-Tailed Macaque Research uh, and Conservation updates from the Philippine population held on uh, 30 March 2021 from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Uh, PST, uh, Philippine Standard Time. So, so in witness whereof, the signature of our director, Dr. Marian B. De Leon, is hereby affixed. So congratulations, Sir Leif, and maraming salamat. And uh, make sure that you evaluate our uh, webinar. You could go to https uh, bit.ly uh, bit slash 2021 dash bss dash eval. We will accept responses until 3 p.m. today. Uh, visit our website mnh.uplb.edu.ph. If you want to drop us an email, uh, write us at uh, mnh.uplb at up.edu.ph. And we are on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Just look for the handle UPLB Museum. And we are also in Wikipedia and TripAdvisor. Make sure that you check our Facebook again for future announcements of our webinars. And uh, the recording of this webinar will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, hopefully by tonight or by early morning tomorrow. So with that, maraming salamat sa inyo, sa inyong lahat. Uh, thank you for being with us again in this uh, webinar series. Maraming salamat, Sir Leif, and good luck po and God bless.